Just to be clear, this video isn't meant to demean anyone. The only reason they're on this list is because the normal expectations for these runners are so high. That being said, these are my top 10 chokes in speedrunning. I put this clip first because, to be fair, this is a really hard trick. Abney was on record pace entering Rainbow Road. He needs to turn, bounce off DK, and float down to the spiral part of the road. Unfortunately, he misses by only a hair. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> what the heck? I thought I had it. San Andreas is known for having some pretty wacky NPCs. Josh needs the NPC that's on his bike to finish the mission, but then he randomly decides to jump off the bridge. When Josh goes down to get him back, he accidentally kills him. Oh hey, thanks. Oh hey, thanks. Oh hey, thanks! This is from one of SVA's Majora's Mask runs. Before I saw this clip, I did not know you could jump out of the water and take fall damage. Why? Camera flipped! What? Please? No! Cutscene! This gun is dead. Whoa! <laughs> this was after months of grinding in preparation to beat the famous 1810. Joden was at least on pace to tie it. He had gotten to the end, passed the hardest trick in the run, and he lost it all to the final fight. Yes! Fuck yes! Go! Shit! Yeah, this horse shit. <laughs> well, it's ripped. Well, piece of shit, this TV is gonna be bad now. What? I have no words for this. I'm gonna miss PB. I'm gonna miss PB. You know what, screw this game sometimes. Connor was running DK64 101%. He was on pace to beat his personal best and the record. He's done literally everything else. All he has to do is press B to deliver the knockout punch, but instead he presses A, causing him to do a backflip. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. How, how, how? That did not just happen. That did not just happen. My finger slipped. This is a run of Resident Evil Code Veronica by Trance. During the last phase of this fight, the game gives you a new weapon which deals a one hit KO. All Trance had to do was land a single hit and the record was his. Currently in the Wind Waker HD any percent, you have to do an annoying zombie hover to reach the loading zone that leads to the Ganon fight. The hover itself isn't terribly hard, but you have to get lucky and hope the fairies fly straight into you so you don't die when you touch the platform. Linkus had just gotten this for the first time and was on pace to beat the record by over an hour when he choked the Ganon fight. Alright, maybe- okay, do you guys believe RNG manipulation? If we use like a fire arrow, we can be like, alright, this run is on fire and it'll give it to us. Maybe being like this run is on fire will give it give it to us. Alright. Alright, this run is on fire. 
The run can feel it. I shot you with the fire. Come on. Come on, fairies. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Nay. Nay! I held the shield! Nay. Nay. I'll believe it. Nay. Trying to deliver a good run in front of an audience can be pretty nerve-wracking, even more so if that audience includes Shigeru Miyamoto. Mario legend Andrew G had an opportunity to show Miyamoto his skills, but he wasn't even able to complete the game. Frigate Secret Agent is one of the most annoying levels in Goldeneye. One of the objectives is to help four hostages escape. When you release the hostages, they run around the boat randomly until they escape at some point. So you have to go through the level as fast as possible and then just hope the hostages escape as you finish the level, which they almost never do. The other objectives are all fairly easy and consistent. David Clemens was warming up to a race and decided to try Frigate Secret Agent. The record at the time was a 101. He executed everything well until he pauses to disarm the bomb and completely misses it. He finishes the level and miraculously the hostages escape with a final time of 1 minute flat. If he had disarmed the bomb correctly, this would have been an untied world record. And the number one joke in speedrunning is every single one of Cheese's runs that should have been a 139. I can't even keep track of them all anymore. This might be the biggest mental block in speedrunning. It will be worth it though because when he does get 139, it'll be one of the most important runs of all time. But man has it been a long and twisted path to get there. Stick, 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 stick,